Well, spring is here. It's been way warmer than it is today. Today it's a little bit cooler, it's a little bit windy, but it's a beautiful sunny spring day and we are just going to do our best to enjoy it. We have a couple of projects we need to work on, some things we need to get done this weekend, and we're just going to enjoy it. And oh, I think I hear some work getting done over there. Let's go check out and see what Ryan's doing. And what is spring without new baby goats? <laughs> <laughs> getting tripped on underfoot. Yay! Babies are doing really great. Mama is taking care of all three of them. She's doing a great job. She's getting extra feed to try to get her body condition back up, but the babies are nursing just fine and she's producing plenty of milk. And that's all we can hope for. And speaking of new life. Mm. We have a birth mm. taking place mm. right now. Mm. I was just coming to check on her to see how mm. she was doing. Mm. To find that she is pushing. So, this is something we want to keep a close eye on. Mm. See how she's progressing. Make sure there is progression. She should give birth within a half an hour from the first push. So... Won't be long now. We'll have babies. Even more babies. All right. I just saw what looked like the tip of the toe poke out in the last contraction and push. I was trying to get the camera going, but just missed it. <laughs> All right. Next one, honey. Next one. We'll see something. Let's see how long it is in between contractions. I'm watching the timer on the video. So that's 26 seconds and she's pushing again. So yeah, very, very close together contractions here. Should be seeing something come out soon. How exciting. Oh. <laughs> you wanna eat the puppy bed? No, you don't. I'm just getting that ready to put underneath you when that baby comes out. <laughs> Silly goat. I said I wasn't going to film any this year, but I, I do love being here. And I know you guys love seeing births too. So. <coughs> Might as well. I'm here. Oh, yeah. I see it poking. She's still gonna eat, hey. You silly. Uh, she, she decided to lay down. That's usually a good sign that things are gonna progress pretty fast. So. Yeah, some big pushes there. Black and white coloration, Ryan. Oh, one more big push, baby. You could have had it. Ugh. Now you got it just sticking out. Oh, you think so? The plastic sound? Did that distract you, baby? I'm sorry. I just wanted to. This isn't a birthing stall, so I wanted to make sure baby had a nice clean landing. All right, girl. Oh, <laughs> you want to eat it? You silly. Why are you laughing? <laughs> they never quite do what we want them to do. <laughs> Especially Rosemary. <laughs> she's, she's kind of a stinker. Sweet stinker. <laughs> Go. There we go. 
，我哋自己攞。Baby, hmm? she's little. Makes me think you might have a couple more in there. Actually, she's still contracting. Usually, they have them back to back. So, yeah, You've got your baby. Get her clean. Helping a little bit more in the drying process. Because I don't want it to be too cold. And with Mama still pushing, she's distracted. With that, the ears and the legs are the, one of the last things Mama touches. So it's the first thing I help with. If I am going to help with the drying process, that's what I'll do first. So Mama can focus on the body and the umbilical cord. But she is still digging and pushing, getting ready for her next delivery. So she's a little distracted, not wanting to clean so much. I think I remember that from her from last time. She's not much of a cleaner until they're all here. Does that seem like a memory that matches yours? I don't remember. Oh, big, big arch. You got another contraction coming? so windy today and move them to the kidding stall pretty quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't dig into the deeper bedding where there's yucky stuff. I just put a nice layer of fresh stuff on top so you'd have a cleaner bedding. You hear the birds? It's the first day of spring, honey. You're having your babies on the equinox. That's so special. <laughs> you need one mommy to love you. First day of spring, and I just want to sing to everything that's moving, every single little Go, Jula is an awesome job, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. To them birds flying free, babies, fish <laughs> in the sea, flowers and trees, yeah. every little. To the kids playing hoops, going loop de loop. The rainbow colored bouncy balls and their eyes green. Got a fresh new baby there. Yeah. How many more do you think she's gonna have? One or more? One or two. It's hard to tell because her room is so full. She's been eating all day. I'm not gonna panic yet, but mm. we do have two bubbles presenting, which mm. can be a problem, but not necessarily. So best to see if this next push gets it all the way out. Mm. Cause she's so close, I'm not gonna do anything yet. Um, but if two babies are presenting at the same time, I will have to untangle them with my hands manually. Mm. I've had to do that before. The very first time I had to go in, I had two huge bucklings with Fancy Girl. They were just trying to get out at the same time. See how there's two bubbles? So, we, but with that much out, I think she'll be able to. Mm. 
Is he happy? Okay, do you want to watch this birth? You see that's a head and hoofs, so that, that one is presented correctly. Shoulders. Here come the shoulders. There we go. That's the hard part. There we go. Once they're past, once they're past the chest cavity, they begin, that stimulates their breathing, so I like to get their face. There. Yeah. This one up there. Oh my gosh, it's already so dry. Yeah, I had to help because it was windy out here. I didn't want it. Are you going to get this one the rest of the way out? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're doing good, Mama. Yeah. Just cut the foot stack, okay? I just... I don't want to pull on the umbilical cord, but... Mm -hmm. There we go. Let the umbilical cord break on its own always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got another baby. What is it? No. I don't know yet. The umbilical cord is still attached. I can't pull on it to check. Is there going to be another baby coming out? Possibly. Do no. we have this? Unless there was two placentas. Alright, let her stand up and that umbilical cord will snap. And sometimes there's a little bit of blood, so don't be alarmed. Alright. Get this baby. Yeah, not a baby. Beautiful. Good job. All right, what is this one? Another doe. Good job, Mama. Good job, Peter. Pretty baby. Yeah. Love that white color on the first one's forehead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're already getting strong legs. You are. Look at you trying to stand up. I'm not your mama, yo. I know I look like a mama goat, don't I? Bah, bah. You like the babies? Uh huh. Good babies. <laughs> the other babies heard them and they're responding. <laughs> yeah, oh yes, mom is pushing again. <laughs> Delivering a third or a placenta? <laughs> I think she's got another one. The... <laughs> yeah, that sounds more like a baby coming out than a. Oh yeah, this baby <laughs> almost all the way out. <laughs> Almost out. <laughs> yes, another brown baby with a white spot. Oh, with spots on its body. That's got to be a book, right? That's. Big baby. That's got to be a buckling with the I mean, spots on its body and being so big. No way we'd be lucky uh, enough to get a spotted doe. Right? These guys are cold. Yeah. Can you cover them with that blanket? Huh? And I think that she's done. But we'll know. Uh, that with that placenta that came out with him. Uh, amount of placenta. Tell us if it's a him. I'm saying not. him and I'm like, how do you even look? How uh, how funny is it? Uh, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah. All right. Mm. Boy. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Was nibbling on the, like, and he had some poop uh, in there, so, so he was Come ready on. to come out. He was waiting for that moment to shine. Mm. Uh -huh. Hi, little girl. 
Oh, he's bigger. He's much bigger than the ladies. Oopsie, sorry. <laughs> Go back over here. All right, let's get this wet puppy pad out. Race it for the clean. Ew! <laughs> there was afterbirth on your nose. <laughs> I just hey, kissed hey, afterbirth. You are oh. cute. Yeah. I don't know what. <laughs> that baby sure likes you, Leo. Mm -hmm. Keep them dry. We gotta get them out of the wind. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, a little protected in here, but I'm feeling wind against my mm -hmm. face, so yeah, if I'm too. feeling it, they're feeling it more so. Mm -hmm. They're sweet little new bodies. <laughs> Wiping your afterbirth in my hair, thanks. Thanks. Cleaning me. <laughs> I'm your baby, huh? <laughs> okay. You might want to clean your baby instead of me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> dry, 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 dry the baby, dry. She knows that I'm not mm -hmm. her mom. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow, how amazing. Another set of triplets. Thank you, Rosemary. We've got two dolings and a buckling. Spring, windy, and breeze. We haven't even named the other three yet, but we've got names for these because of the uh, way they were born coming into the world on a breezy, windy day on spring equinox. What a beautiful story. And the other babies and mama are already coming to check it out. What is it? Girl, we gotta get some groceries on you. We've been feeding her like crazy, I guess. Having four babies in her belly this pregnancy really took a lot of energy from her that we didn't notice until after she did it. Sweet girl. But luckily she only has three to feed. I know that sounds funny to say luckily, but four would have been really hard on her.